Hi guys, welcome to my vlog. This is a different episode today as it's all about my designer bags. It's still winter and I noticed that some of my bags are not in good condition because of the mold. First, I'll show you the place in my house where I store my bags. This is my second lounge room which is next to my master bedroom which is that door in that door and that's my own suite where i also store my perfume so this is my buffet white buffet where i store some of my collection and this is my lounge area That's the TV, my other bag cabinet, where I also put the shoes at the bottom half. And this is where most of the bags are. Okay, so I'll show you now the first cabinet that I would like to open because I found bags that have mold. So, so that's my Barbary orchard bag. Look at the mold. I'm so sorry about it. I have to rescue it now. Another one which has the most is my Givenchy Antigona. Can you see that? It's really in bad shape. Sorry. And that look it's really really bad I have to clean it now pronto I have to put it here I just found these little ones here in my Louis Vuitton so this a little mold in here as so. well Uh, LV. This is the first bag that I'm gonna claim for the Givenchy Antigona because this is very delicate and light colored bag. I will just use a damp, slightly damp cloth. I wet this with water. So I will just really clean this properly I cannot use a conditioner or leather cleaner at the moment until I find one that is really perfect for this for the other bag which is the Louis Vuitton I'll use my leather conditioner I just press it really well so it will clean up okay I'm done cleaning the Givenchy Antigona which is using the damp cloth I just want to show you this is which is very important the reason why I don't want to use leather conditioner or cleaner because the last time I took this bag to a bag shop, I wanted to buy a conditioner and then the lady did it for me, but damaged my bag. Look at this. I think that was harsh cleaner. After all, it's still a chemical. So, so I rather use water only for now until I'll find a perfect one that will suit for this kind of leather because this is also very light colored so any stain or any peeling will really show easily and the next bag that I want to clean is my Burberry orchard look at this so badly damaged by the mold but this is temporary 
as long as I will clean this now. So I still use the damp cloth to get rid of the mold first. And then I'll use a conditioner for this. I'm not worried about this too much because it's not a light color. finish cleaning the Burberry Orchard bag with the damp cloth so all the molds are gone but now I'm gonna use leather conditioner to make it um, shine and protected from farther mold so I use another clean cloth and spray this and spray it with the conditioner you really have to take care of your bags unlike me sometimes I forget them and my problem was I forgot to put them in a dust bag which I should because especially it's winter time it will protect from the damp and the moisture from the season, from the cold season. I forgot to put them in their dust bags. My bad. Now my bags are suffering for it. Sometimes I'm just lazy to put them in the dust bag because you know, I cannot change bags easily. But with the lockdown, it shouldn't be a problem because I don't go out much often and I work from home. So I don't need to change bags every week or every two weeks. Okay, now it's really nice. It looks really nice and it looks shiny. I put this in I yeah I will show you see how the leather looks shiny almost looking new don't forget to also clean the bottom of course One thing more that I almost forgot is the strap. Of course, we have to conclude this. Look, still has the mold from both sides. So I used the damp cloth for this first before using the conditioner. It's finished with the damp cloth. Now I'm using the conditioner. So this is the cloth with the conditioner. See how shiny it is. All three of my Louis Vuitton bags have a little mold it's not all over unlike the Givenchy and the Burberry but I would like to clean it too of course I'll just show you this is Montagri bag or Monty for short uh, it's only it has this um, mold going down both and then 
okay not here this is good so that's the monty bag i have uh, also hamstead this is the damir leather okay there's there's very little mold but i can see it where are you now i cannot see you now okay <laughs> okay this one here Holds like that, you shouldn't disregard because it can grow. And here I have a backpack. This is this is called Montsori backpack. Here, look at the molds here in the where the thread is and that one too. So this is only little cleaning, which I'm glad, but it is quite. You know, it's tidy from, it's quite resistant from the mold. And here as well. Okay, I clean them with the leather conditioner. It shouldn't be long. Okay, the last bags that I'm gonna clean, the last two are my Balenciaga. This is the city bag with gold hardware. I'll show you first the molds on this one. Look at that. Here. I actually used this last week or two weeks ago when I went to the city. And I tried to clean a bit, but it it was not enough. I quickly ran through to it with a damp cloth. But now I'm going to use the leather conditioner. So it will shine as well. This is very soft leather. I think it's a cow hide because it's very light, which is perfect for traveling. And I use this when I go to the office as well because I can put a lot. This is classic. I love this bag. It lifts up the outfit. No, it elevates whatever you're wearing. And the big gold studs really make it attractive. Okay, I make sure I will include a strap now. The other bag, which is the Burberry, the strap is removable, so I didn't, uh, this is removable as well, but it's hanging outside, so I cannot disregard it or ignore it easily. So the city bag is finished. Now I'm cleaning the mini first bag. This is a silver hardware. 
the mold is extreme as well by the way I don't have the strap for this so I bought the coach uh, removable strap I bought this when I was in San Francisco it's available online but at that time it was in, in Australia so when I went there in 2017 I grab it this is very light and it's good for night event is it's small obviously here when I take it to a night function I'll remove this chop so I'll just use this as handbag okay, now I'm done I'm done I'm, and I'm happy I have accomplished something today now that I've cleaned them all it's ready for me to put back in the cabinet yes I'm happy I've done something today finally finally I treat them well so that that's those are the LV bags. Now I'm putting the Givenchy, the Burberry. I made sure that the strap is inside, so I will not lose it. And the Balenciaga. Oh, I don't have much space for Balenciaga. It's good. It's so look at this cabinet now the Burberry orchard is really really clean um, I'm so happy I thank myself so look at the LV they are very shiny and that's the other LV and Jibonshi and see I just put the Balenciaga city there next time i'm gonna do something for my shoes i look at my burberry shoes oh no look at the mold i make sure i will put them in their individual dust bag later i just make them aired out first let them dry before putting them in the bag so that's it for now Thank you for watching. I'm so glad you made this far. So until next vlog, please hit like and subscribe. Bye for now.